morning class uh, for today let's have your plate number two okay so that is a rainwater tank or a cistern tank detail so for this plate or for plate number two you will need your roof plan since for our rainwater tank we'll have to solve the area of the roof so that we can design or we can have the dimension of our rainwater or sister tank cistern tank detail so for supposedly you have this kind of roof okay so you have already your roof plan in your building design one so in my case i just have this a uh, sample roof plan you have this type of roof a combination of a uh, hip and gable roof okay so first is you need to compute for the area of the roof in computation uh, in computing the area of the roof you need to have the slant height of the roof for example you have the base then the uh, this is the height of your roof you will need to solve for the slant height is h okay so in computing the area of the roof not just the flat roof it should be the slant height of the roof uh, to be determined in computing the area of the roof so but first before you compute the slant height you subdivide your roof plan into regular shapes so like for example for this roof i have here a, a triangle for this one okay this one is triangle and then another this one is uh, trapezoid this one so i already subdivided uh, subdivide it into parts so you have this so for area one this is trapezoid Area 2 is triangle. Then area 2 is triangle. And then area 3 you have area 4 you have this form for area 4 this one but as you can see this uh, figure plus this figure you have the area 1 I uh, know area 4 plus area 7 is just equal to area 1 which is trapezoid okay so you have this form this one okay this form plus this one this small triangle is just equal to the area one which is trapezoid so you don't have to solve for area four and area seven since for area one you already have the trapezoidal area okay and then for area five that is rhombus but if you cut this cut this rhombus and then this portion here this portion here you transfer it there so you have this 
so it's just equivalent to a rectangle by the way i already uploaded this uh, file pdf file in our module so you just have to review it so i will just discuss how i uh, compute the area of this kind of roof but in your case you have different uh, design of roof so we need to solve also it's, it's just a trigonometry uh, computation for your uh, no, not trigo geometry no? regular shape for your uh, computation of roof area okay so that is from rhombus if we cut that uh, section this section we cut this and then we transfer it there so it became it becomes a rectangle so rhombus uh, we will have the uh, formula for a rectangle to solve for the area of the roof okay so example here since i don't have the elevation plan for this roof i just assume uh, my height of roof is equivalent to 3 meters okay so for 3 meters height which uh, i draw the elevation so using a 3 meter height of the roof so for this one so in this portion you have here the smaller triangle so if you have your elevation you can just measure the height of this small triangle if you don't have the elevation you can also solve this using ratio or by ratio and proportion so by ratio and proportion you have this similar triangle so this one this uh, length okay this length this is equal to this length that is three meters okay and also this length or this base okay is equivalent to this one so which is a uh, four meters okay four meters so by similar triangle since they have the same slope so you have there the height which is three over four is equal to y which is the height over three so therefore you have your y equivalent to 2.25 or you can just measure it using uh using your metric scale if you have your elevation plan but if uh, you don't have your elevation plan for the roof you can have the ratio and proportion to solve for this height okay so but if you have a roof plan which is like this if you have this kind of roof so no need to have another uh, set of slant height since they have the same uh, slant height for this kind of roof okay but uh, in my example you have different slant height so you have this uh, slant height this one and then this one okay you have this slant height for that one okay as you can uh, see since that is your base this is a b so this is point a this is point b okay this point a this is point by the way b and that is four meters so you have the standard height or uh, example you have the three meter height so you connect that this is your slant height okay so this is where your roofing 
is placed okay so this is now your roof okay so to solve for the slant height okay so to solve for the slant height you have there so this is point a and point b for this uh, big rectangle this one big rectangle this one you have this slant height and this uh, small rectangle you have this slant height okay so for slant height one you have this slant height one this one this one and this one okay and then for slant height two so you have this one this one and also this one okay so to solve for the slant height just use the pythagorean theorem you just measure this length from point a to point b so you just measure that and that is four meters okay so from point a from point a to point b that is four meters and this roof this roof that is a three meter high okay so you have three meters so to solve for the slant height you have just the pythagorean theorem so that is 4 squared plus the height of the roof 3 squared so therefore you have your slant height equal to 5 okay and then for slant height 2 since you have another height here for this uh, roof area this one so we already solved the height for this which is uh, 2.25 that is by ratio and proportion since we don't have the elevation of the scaled uh, elevation drawing for the roof so we just have the ratio and proportion so for this uh, slant height you just measure point c to d that is three meters so therefore you have three meters and then the height of the roof height vertical height is 2.25 therefore to solve for the slant height that is square root of 3 squared plus 2.25 squared so therefore you have your slant height 2 equivalent to 3.75 okay so you already have assigned the areas area 1 area 2 area 3 area 4 area 5 area 6 and area 7 so even if uh, you solve your area uh, incorrect you, know, you solve your uh, area so be sure that uh, in solving your uh, roof area it should be greater than the actual roof area okay so that when you design the when you design the uh, rainwater tank or cistern tank it should be uh, the area or the volume should be the required volume for the requirement in the locality or in the municipality or city where your building is to be uh, constructed okay so the problem for this uh, plate or activity is just uh, solving your roof area okay so i just uh, leave it to you on the computation of the roof area by the way as to continue this part we'll have to compute the area 1 up to area 7 so for the computation 
you have the uh, computed area for area 1 that is also equal to area 4 plus area 7 okay so as what i have said earlier the area 1 is just equal to area 4 and area 7 since when you combine this form it's just equivalent to the trapezoidal form of area 1 okay so area 1 and area 4 plus area 7 is a trapezoid so therefore area of the trapezoid is base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times the slant height and from the given that is 9 meters and this is 1 meter since this since this is 4 and this is 4 okay so this is 1 so 9 plus 1 divided by 2 times the slant height 1 therefore that is 9 plus 1 10 divided 2 so 5 5 times the slant height 1 that is 5 therefore you have <coughs> 25 square meters and then area 2 so area 2 which is just equivalent to area 3 so you have your area 3 here this one so this is your area 3 so area 2 is just equal to area 3 which is a triangle so therefore to compute for the area you have the formula of area of triangle so that is one half times the base times the slant height so your base is 8 meters okay so you have your slant height 1 equivalent to 5 so one half times 8 times 5 therefore you have 20 square meters area okay next is area 5 which is equivalent to area 6 okay so this is your area 5 is equivalent to area 6 so the same geometric form okay so area 5 is equivalent to area 6 so you have there area of rectangle since instead of a uh, rhombus this one okay instead of rhombus we cut this portion and then transform it here transfer it here so that is now a rectangular form okay so therefore We'll use the rectangular formula. Okay, that is length times width or just that is equivalent to, this is a uh, 4. So 4 meters times the slant height 2. Okay, so therefore you have 4, four times 3.75. That is 15. Okay. So 15 square meter. And then you compute the total area of the roof. Okay. So you have there area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3 plus area 4 and area 7 is just equal to area 1. And then area 5 plus area 6. So area 1 is 25. Area 2 is 20, area 3 is 20, and then area 4 plus area 7 is 25, area 5 is 15, and area 6 is 15, all in all, or the total area is 120 square meters, okay? So for the requirement for the cistern tank or rainwater tank, if that is residential in every 15 square meter of roof area 
you are required to have a 0.5 cubic meter volume of cistern tank okay so in every 15 you have in every 15 you are required to have 0.5 cubic meter volume of cistern tank if that is residential but if commercial in every 15 square meter of roof area you are required to have one cubic meter volume of cistern tank for the requirement okay it's up to the municipalities or cities if they required you to have a cistern tank or rainwater tank in your building but in our uh, case as to uh, at least we'll have the idea on how to compute or design the uh, rainwater tank or cistern tank okay so to solve for the required volume you have this formula required volume is equal to the total area divided by 15 divided by 0.5 or that is total area divided by 15 multiplied by 0.5 okay so therefore you have the total area which is 120 divided by 15 and then multiplied by 0.5 therefore you have the required volume of 4 cubic meter so to solve for the dimension of a cistern tank or rainwater tank will have the cube design so that at least <coughs> we only have to compute uh, one side of the cube or of the rainwater tank or cistern tank so let's have the cube root of 4 so therefore you have uh the uh no side or d dimension side dimension of rainwater tank or cistern tank equivalent to 1.587 meters so always round up to okay round up always 2.1 meter so now you have your dimension of rainwater tank. So after you have the calculation, you draw the rainwater tank or cistern tank detail. Okay. By the way, for your computation, you have to photocopy or just uh, have a picture of your roof plan. And then or maybe you scan it. Then write your computation maybe at the side of your roof plan or maybe at the back of the paper or photocopied roof plan. Okay. So you can have your computation on the roof plan photocopied or scanned. Okay. And then for the cistern tank detail, I already uploaded it in Moodle so it looks like this so since in our computation you have there a uh, there a 1.6 uh, meter uh, dimension so for our dimension here it should be this one should be 1.6 okay and then this is 1.9 the cover is always 0.5 pure concrete okay uh, not a chb wall or just a chb cover so it should be a pure concrete and then this one also 1.6 So, it depends on your calculation. So, it depends on your calculation. 
whether you have uh, 1.6 or 1.7 uh, dimension of your rainwater tank or cistern tank. So the scale of your detailed cistern tank uh, or rainwater tank is 1 is to 20. Okay, so you can print this as your reference. I already uploaded it in the Moodle. Okay, so if you have uh, any question, you can message me in our MS Teams or in our FB Messenger. Okay, thank you.